tail weavers from Ontorongo. Today I'm going to tell you a story. In fact, I'm going to read the story to you, which was written by Novokanto Borua. Novokanto Borua was a Sahitya Academy awardee. The story that I'm going to read to you today is called the tiger and the kawoi tilika. Kawoi is a fresh water fish called climbing perch in English. The climbing perch can move on land with the help of its ears and can also climb trees. In this story, I'm going to call them kawoi tilika. Now, tilika means little ones. The tiger and kawoi tilika. A tiger would frequently go to the lake to drink water. He would meet the fishes who lived there. He would tell them, you have spent all your life moving around in this lake. If only you could have moved around like me out of water, you would have been able to see a lot of this world. The Kawai Tilika, who was close by, answered promptly, I can too move out of water with the help of my ears and I can climb trees. Feeling embarrassed, the tiger replied, Don't worry, even I can swim. But can you move as fast as me? The Kawai then replied, Yes, it's true, we can't move as fast as you, on land, but you will never beat us in water. Now, an old wise bear standing close by proposed, Why don't you place a bet? Place a bet? What bet? asked both the tiger and Kawitilika. A running race, the tiger will run on the banks, and you, Kawai, you can swim in the water? tiger was happy. He thought, in one or two leaps, I'll reach the finishing point. How does this small cowboy think he'll ever manage to beat me? He then said, All right, I'm game. The extent I'll be able to run on land, no fish will be able to do that in water. The cowboy was quick to answer, Forget other fish. Ah, Kawai Tilika will beat you. Just wait and watch. Stop this big talk of yours. Tomorrow morning, we'll have our races. I'll run on land and you swim in the water. You better be prepared, retorted the tiger. The next morning, the tiger arrived at the banks of the lake. The other animals the other tigers, deer, birds and insects of the jungle were all present to witness the race. On your marks, get set, go, called out the bear. The race began. After a while, the tiger thought the cowboy mm. must be far behind. So he looked back and called out, Cowboy Tilika, where have you reached? The tiger heard the cowboy calling him from ahead. I'm here, you keep coming. The tiger was surprised. The cowboy was way in front of him. How was that possible? He ran faster than before and then called out again. Cowboy, how far behind are you now? The cowboy replied, Keep coming, keep coming, brother. And that also from ahead. After a while, the tiger again called out, Kawai Tilika. He heard a voice from the front again. Yes, keep coming. Now, every time the tiger called out again, he heard the Kawai responding from ahead. Tiger couldn't overtake the cowboy, even after completing a round of the lake. 
Every time he called out to the cowboy, he would hear him answering from ahead. Not being able to beat the cowboy Tilika, the tiger, feeling humiliated, disappeared into the forest and hid there. But, yes, there is a big but here. Did the cowboy Tilika actually beat the tiger? Was he really ahead of the tiger? Now, actually, the night before the race, they all planned to position themselves apart near the bank of the lake under the roots of the plants growing in the water. And then they decided whenever the tiger called out to them, one hiding in front of the tiger would answer. So on the day of the race, that's exactly what they did. Poor tiger. Little did he know that a cowboy hiding in front of him kept answering him. In this manner, the cowboys won the race. They couldn't defeat the tiger with their physical strength, but they did it with the power of their brains. And so from this story, we come to know one thing, that there are many kinds of strengths. I hope you enjoyed the story. Until I come back again next time, keep waiting. And you know something? You can keep reading too. So take care. Bye.